Hello and welcome to this What's New video for the Coder Interface with Inventor. Today I want to show you some of the new features that are going to be available to you in Build 7510. Some of the new features that are going to be available to you will include the decimal precision by property type, as well as more properties, which we can use to create fabrication drawings or quotes for budgetary purposes. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Before I get started, let's have a quick refresher on how we can export our models from Compress or Inspect into Autodesk Inventor. If you're in Compress or Inspect, what we'll do is up on the top, we're going to click on the 3D button located right here. What this will do is update our, our graphics to the true solid model view. From here, what we can do is click on the 3D export option and we can save the file in a directory of our choosing. So for example, if I chose to save this here, what I would do is make sure that I'm exporting the XML 3D file and click Save. Once the model's been exported, we'll get a notification like so that the model has been exported successfully and we can click OK. Now that my heat exchanger has been exported, what I'm going to do is switch over to Inventor. So I'm going to minimize Compress here. And as you can see, Here's Autodesk Inventor. Now I already went ahead and imported this heat exchanger, but if I hadn't done this, what we would do is we would come up to our ribbon menu and we would select the code or tab right here. And what we would do is click import model and we would go and locate that XML 3D file that we had just exported. So again, we would locate it and we would click import. What this will do is recreate the assembly for us within Autodesk Inventor. So every component we've modeled and compressed is its own individual part, and then we'll lump them together to create what they call an assembly. So I'm going to cancel this because I already brought in this heat exchanger. So on the side here, you're going to see th your part tree. So again, here's my inlet nozzle, my outlet nozzle, my baffle. So again, these are individual parts that we can actually come in, open up, and we can edit. I'm going to switch this over to our modeling view like so. Now for some of the new features, like I said, we actually now have control over the uh, the decimal count um, on the values that are being brought into Inventor. So under the code word tab up here at the top, we can click on the options button right here. So this is not a new dialog by any means, but what we've done is we've actually added another tab here. So on top of having our general tab, as well as our feature recognition, we now have a precision tab right here. And what we can do is we can manipulate the values. So for example, any pressure value that's coming over as a property, we can set the decimal count to none or up to six uh, places. And why this is beneficial is that when I start filling out drawing tables or anything like that, I don't want to see uh, an MAWP of a, uh, you know, with six decimal places. Typically I'm going to just want to see it rounded to the a whole number, same with temperature. But things like length, for example, perhaps I do want to have a little bit more precision and I can set that here. So I can click apply and these changes will be set every time we import a model. So that's one of the new features that are available to us. Now another new feature that I wanted to talk to you about were uh, more properties. Um, we have spent an extensive amount of time adding more properties and refining the model a little bit. So for example, let's have a look at the tubes. So if I click on the tubes here, what I can do is right click on it and we're going to select the eye properties. So when the coder interface imports our model, we bring all the properties over as what we call eye properties. So here's our eye properties dialog, and we apply them as custom properties here. So when you're going through this, uh, one of the big properties that we put in were the bend radius. So why is this beneficial? Well, this is a YouTube. We need to order the tube bundle. So we can actually set up a design table on a drawing and we can actually have it populate with these values so that I can actually get a bend schedule for either quoting purposes or even fabrication purposes as well. So properties like that have been added. So something else you might want to put on there would be the cut length, for example. So you can see every tube or every tube row will have the values populated here as well. And as you can see, I've modified the length of two decimal places just to clean it up a little bit as well. 
So with more properties being added for, for you, the user, this allows you to further refine drawings, uh, whether it's a fabrication drawing or possibly budgetary drawing, um, to get general information on there. And you can leverage the power of Inventor by accessing uh, design tables, uh, things like that. I'd like to thank you for watching this What's New video for the Coder Interface 7510 with Autodesk Inventor. If you have any questions or you'd like to see a demonstration, please email sales at coder.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.